Hi parents, I absolutely love baby push walkers and the confidence they give babies to start learning to walk independently. In this video, I'm going to go over some of the best baby push walkers and why they are so good for your baby and how they differ from a lot of different baby gear you see out there on the shelves. Hey, it's Morgan. Welcome to the Passable Parent Channel. I've been a pediatric nurse for the past 10 years specializing in early childhood development and I'm also a mom. Before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn notifications on so you don't miss out on any future videos. And make sure you comment down below if you have any questions. I'd love to hear from all of you. Thank you so much. I appreciate your support. Baby push walkers are great tools to give your baby the confidence to learn the skills to walk independently. Baby push walkers help develop the muscles required to walk and also develop balancing skills in walking and in standing. They also give your baby who may be cruising along furniture and pulling to stand the confidence to try letting go of that furniture and explore walking. When looking to get a baby push walker, you will notice there are two different kinds of baby push walkers. Push walkers made out of wood and push walkers made out of plastic. I'm going to go over the pros and cons of each to help you decide which push walker is right for your baby. I also want to make a very important note that there is a major difference between a baby push walker and baby walkers. I do not recommend using a baby walker for your baby. And if you haven't already, make sure to check out my video on four baby toys that can delay your baby's development and pose a safety risk. Baby walkers are at the top of this list and do not help your baby learn how to walk. The first thing I love about push walkers is that many of them have activity boards on the front of them. These activity boards can be highly motivating for your child to play with and to encourage them to sit in front of and eventually pull to stand to reach some of the items higher up which can lead to walking. From watching my other videos, I'm sure many of you already know I'm not a huge fan of light up toys that play too many sounds or lights for young babies. Many times toys like these require batteries and I've actually been known with my own children to never actually put the batteries in these toys which I found throughout my work can actually be better for your young baby's development avoiding those extra lights and sounds. When looking at push walkers, try to find ones that still have a lot of interesting things for your baby to touch and feel, whether or not you decide to actually put batteries in them. They have a variety of push walkers, plastic and wooden ones, and many don't even require those batteries. Your baby will start using a push walker as an actual push walker and not just an activity board when they're able to cruise along furniture and can stand independently for a short period of time. Typically this occurs anywhere from nine to 12 months months of age. For plastic push walkers, there are two different types. A plastic push walker with an activity panel on the front and a plastic push walker that is a three in one, which is an activity panel on the front, a push walker, and also has the ability to convert to a stationary play table. Benefits to plastic push walkers include they are lightweight, which can make it easier for your baby to navigate turns and corners in your home. They are more cost effective and a lot of them include an activity panel at the front, which can many times be removed depending on the plastic push walker you choose and used in a different application, such as during tummy time or in a sitting position on the floor. Another pro is that many of them come with adjustable wheel speed, low and high settings. Low setting makes it harder to push and gives resistance so that way it doesn't quickly roll away on your baby just learning how to walk with this push walker. Some plastic models also have foldable legs for storage and are easily transported. Some cons to plastic push walkers include that some can be so lightweight that they don't have the ability to slow down and can roll away on your baby. Making sure to look for one that has adjustable wheel speed to offer some resistance for your baby will help avoid this. Another con is that some babies may tip it over or fall if it's too lightweight because there's no resistance to it. So you definitely want to look one again that has that adjustable speed and that's a little bit more heavy and maybe lower to the ground. The three in one plastic push walkers that feature an activity table, the activity tables are also very lightweight and easy to tip over. So if your baby needs a lot of support when standing, typically when they first learn to pull to stand, this is more of a risk for falls since these tables are a little bit more unstable. Another con is that the plastic push walkers tend to be more slippery on hardwood floor or tile and this can happen with some of the more lightweight wooden push walkers as well. If you are looking to purchase a plastic push walker, my absolute favorite push walker is the Little Tykes 3-in-1 Activity Walker. I'll make sure to link this and all the other items I talk about in the description box below for you. 
This is my favorite plastic push walker because it has those adjustable wheel speeds to offer resistance so it doesn't roll off on you or your baby. It also is lower to the ground so I find it to be more balanced and secure for your baby and it also tends to be the perfect height for a baby first learning how to use a push walker and pulling to stand. Many times these push walkers can either be too tall or too short. I use this push walker with my children and I recommend it to all of my friends and I never even put the batteries in mine because it has that activity center on the front. My son was very interested in the activity board on the front, even without all the lights and sounds. And another major, major benefit to this push walker is that it is affordable at just under $40. Now, let's talk about wooden push walkers. There are two different types of wooden push walkers. Basic wooden push walkers with no activity board. Some look like shopping carts. More complex push walkers with activity board. Pro tip, always look for one with the activity board on the front, not the back, because it is easier for a baby to reach when they're in sitting. Pros of wooden push walkers. The first pro is that with the lightweight wooden walkers, they are easy for baby to move around and turn corners. The ones with the activity panels tend to be a little bit heavier, making it harder to move around corners. And the ones like carts and trays are cheaper than the ones with the activity centers. The cons of wooden push walkers include that because the wooden push walkers with no activity center are so lightweight, I'm talking about the ones specifically that are designed to look like shopping carts, they tend to run out from your baby and tip very easily due to that lightweight nature of them. I find these specific push walkers without the activity centers to be lighter than the same ones in plastic. They also are more likely to tip. I found that filling the bottom of the cart with things like books helps to actually prevent these wooden push walkers from tipping or rolling too fast and sort of weighs them down and makes them more stable. So if you do go with one of these push walkers, that would be a tip that I have for you from personal experience. The heavy wooden ones with the activity centers on front, they have a really hard time turning the corners. So babies end up sort of smashing into the wall if they have any tighter corners to or turns to navigate in your home. Those ones tend to only go in straight lines because they're so heavy and they also are not collapsible and take up more space in your home. So that's a con to one of those funkier, bigger wooden push walkers. And also another major con to those ones Ones, they are significantly more expensive. I'm talking some of them can be over $100. If you do decide that you want to buy a wooden push walker, I actually prefer the lighter wooden push walkers designed to look like shopping carts that have open trays at the bottom or that open shopping cart. And my favorites are these two and you can actually find them on Amazon and I will make sure to link them down below for you in the description box if you'd like to check them out. I hope this video was helpful. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on all my future videos on all things child development, parenthood, and giving your child the best start possible in life. I hope you understand now why a baby push walker is so different from a baby walker and why it's so important for your baby's development. I also hope that this video sort of serves as a guide to help you finding which baby push walker is right for you and your baby. If you have any other questions for me, make sure to comment them down below. I'd love to hear from all of you. Thank you so much for your support and I will see you in the next video.